Hello again and welcome to Shed Talk, my weekly magazine video series looking at the keeping, breeding and showing of cage birds. Um, I don't know if you can hear it or see it, but just behind me there's one of the um, birds that are in the stock cage having a go at the um, uh, grit dish. But there will be grit all over the place um, by the time that particular bird has finished. So, um, well we're, in the, we're into August, so we're in the first uh, video of August. Um, and what I thought I'd do in this particular episode is just talk about what August, um, uh, what my plans are for August um, here in the, both the uh, Budgeting Gar Shed and of course a cut down in the Finch and White Shed. So the Northampton show um, coming up, um, I've got the schedule here. Um, so I'd like to thank um, Rod uh, Clark for sending me this. He, um, he or his wife Sue uh, was the judge at the Oxford 1910 show a little while ago. I was speaking to him then and he said he'd send me one in the post and he did. Um, so it's much appreciated. Um, all I've got to do now is um, complete the entry form and get this sent off um, to Rod ASP. Well obviously first I've got to have a look and see what I've got worth um, uh, showing down there. Northampton show is a silver championship show um, as you can see on the, on the front of the schedule. Sunday the 20th of August I will if I can get some video of the um, birds that are there um, and uh, obviously um, put those in one of the videos um, coming up probably at the uh, either at the end of August or at the beginning of September depending on um, how quickly I can get them organised. So, like I say, that's on the um, 20th of August. I have been to the show before, I think I've said that. It's a really, a really good show. If you get a chance to enter, um, do enter, uh, enter. It's, it's got lots of parking. You can, I think you can actually get the birds entered on the Saturday night before um, or on the Sunday morning. So, um, so they offer lots of opportunity. They do um, um, one of the few shows as well that offer, or I, I, one of the few shows that I've been to recently that still offer a meal, um, so which is always good. Um, and like I say, it's a you know it's not massive show, or it's a silver show, so it's a big show, bigger than Oxford. Um, but it's you know it's one of those shows where actually a number of birds and a number of people means we've got time to chat and do all the rest of that um, sort of stuff. So, like I say, if you can, do pop along, either enter some birds or just pop along to have a look. Really, really good show. But what I will do now then is I'm going to get uh, a few of the young birds out of the, or those that are in the show team, just have a quick look at them um, and See which ones are likely to go and which ones not. I've, I think I've already made a decision that there's probably three youngsters that are that I would consider to be in a reasonable condition, um, and the the two greens are all blues, and the two greens, the youngest um, birds, are still going through their um, just coming out of their baby molt, so they're still showing signs of um, pin feathers on the top of the head and such and so forth so um, they are unlikely to go the other um, three I think I will like I say I'll get them out we'll have a quick look at those while I'm filling out the form and um, and then maybe in the next episode we'll have a look at a couple of the um, adults that may also make it to that particular show right time to fill in the form and have a look at a few of these birds then well with the Northampton show in mind um, what I think I, I need to do um, is obviously double check the um, birds that are in the show team. You may remember from a few episodes ago we got some birds out. That is for Pepper Matthews, which is for the Oxford 1910 Young Bird Show, um, which we didn't end up going to for um, a, a number of, well, because the car broke down basically. So um, some of the birds are um, sort of half prepped still from there but there's still there's still some in there that will need prepping um, I've have had a look through there and in terms of actually young birds which are the birds that I would normally like to get out um, it looks to me as if there's only one that's in any real 
um, sort of condition. I'll just, what we will do is get them out and we'll have a quick um, look through a couple of them. But I think there's only one really that's in any, any sort of condition to get out to the show. So um, I'm not sure how many young birds I might manage to get two out at the maximum I think or three maximum but definitely going to get one out anyway judging from what they look like at the moment of course there's still a, uh, a week or two before it um uh, before that show so there might be another the others might just be in a reasonable enough condition to take with me in terms of the adult birds yeah I think there's a couple in there that I can take so I should be able to get a few birds out for the Northampton show the first of the um, young birds then, sky blue um, cinnamon, probably the best of the, of the young birds that we've got um, that we're going to look at, I think anyway, um, and it's a little bit scruffy at the moment, it's not got a full set of flights but it's got enough flights I think for the show and it's got at least one tail feather. Um, and I'm hoping it will, the second one is on its way down. It will need a little bit of sorting out before the show. And we'll get him prepped and ready. Like I say, this is probably the best of the young birds that we're going to look at. From my point of view anyway. So, a young sky blue cinnamon. Okay, this next one we're looking at is a... Dominant Pied Opaline Sky Blue and Cinnamon again. Um, I need to have a quick review and remember what class this one needs to go into. Um, if it goes needs to go into the Dominant Pied class then it's not a particularly good example of a Dominant Pied. Um, but like I say I've got I haven't got a massive number of young birds to choose from and I do want to support the um, Northampton show. She's got most of her flights, she's got a couple missing and at the moment I think she's got a full tail but she might only have one in there. Needs a little bit more showcase training. I'll just see if I can get her to settle a little bit. Give her something to focus on rather than the top of the cage. So that's the second of the birds. We'll get one more out, which is another um, sky blue and another opaline. So the last one we're going to look at is this, another, which is another um, opaline cinnamon. Um, this time not a dominant pie but also a sky blue. Um, if, if I was to say anything about this bird, as I say, I'm about to say it, it drops a feather. Um, it's probably in the best condition out of all of the birds. It has both its tail feathers and um, looks to me like it's got all of its flight. Um, and it doesn't have very many pin feathers on the top of the head. So um, in terms of condition, I think this is the better of the three birds. Whether it will stay in condition for the next few weeks. Um, as with the other one, it may need a little bit of additional showcase training. All these young birds tend to be a bit nervous when they're first in there. Quite me giving them plenty of time. So those are the three then. That I'm hoping to get out. The Northampton show. Or at least the three young birds, like I say, the other two, which we may or may not have a look at in a future episode, um, or we'll definitely look at them in a future episode, um, are just a little bit too young. One of them's, in fact, both of them have only got half a tail where they drop their tails during the molt and we're waiting for them to grow back. So, 
that's the three that are most likely to go out. We'll have to wait and see what the judge thinks, won't we? Well, that's a very quick look at those um, young birds. Like I say, I haven't prepped them yet. They still need to have a wash um, and tail needs sorting. And I will, over in, uh, probably in about a week or two weeks time, start to pull the spots um, uh, just to make sure uh, that they're fully prepped, ready for the Northampton um, show. In the next episode, we'll probably have a look at the um, adults that are likely to go. Um, but what we'll do now is we'll quickly nip out into the finch and um, five flight uh, and have a look at the what's been going on out there, uh, which will include, of course, um, uh, fives from breeding to bench. So out here in the um, fly fan finch flight, it's pretty much um, business as usual. Sorry about my grumpy voice, I've just got a bit of a, um, uh, a cough on me at the moment, so I'm hoping it doesn't sound too bad. <coughs> anyway, as I say, out here in the uh, finch and fife uh, shed, it's pretty much um, all settled down now. There's still no sign of the um, zebra finches um, breeding. So I think we're going to have to give it a miss for um, this year. What I probably will do is see if I can get a couple more hen um, zebras and see if that will will be able to breed a few of them uh, next year. But we'll have to wait, like I say, we'll just um, have a think about that and wait and see. Um, with the um, five canaries then, almost all of them are going through the malt at the moment. Um, so I'm trying not to disturb them too much. Um, I've had a look at a couple of the um, uh, YouTubers who deal specifically with um, canaries and particularly with the um, fives and most of those are sort of not doing too much um, showcase training, sorry I forgot what I was going to say there, it's too much showcase training um, whilst they're going through the malt, so, I, malt, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give them another, probably about a month now, without any more showcase training, let them go through the malt. And what I will then do is, um, as they're coming out of the malt, particularly the older ones, start to give them some more showcase training again. And then the younger ones, in about another month after that, I can begin with um, those. I am beginning to identify which ones are the cock birds. And I know for a certainty that... Um, the bird in the top cage behind me on the right hand side, so the um, lightly variegated um, uh, bird at the top right hand side is definitely a cock bird, sings away like mad. I think, sort of, I suppose 80% certain that the bird, the all um, uh, clear bird that's next to him and the other flight cage is also a cockbird sort of heard that one singing uh, and then I'm hopeful that the variegated in the cage that's just down next to me here actually um, the one that lost had was quite badly feather plucked but that is a cockbird although it stopped singing as much as it had been um, and then I'm just waiting I think the two older hens or uh, sorry two and three older birds so the um, clear and the um, lightly variegated and variegated birds are all hens um, and I'm beginning to try and identify um, the feathers on particularly those three birds um, it looks to me like we've got um, a a buff and two yellows in there. So it looks as if we've got a buff and two yellows out of those um, th first three. The younger ones, not really sure about just yet. We need to give them a little bit longer, I think, to finish molting a bit more before I can fully identify which birds are which. So that's really it here from the um, finch and five flight.
Well, that brings us to the end of uh, another episode. Um, I, I just was earlier in the week looking in the nappy flight and there was a young um, uh, dark green hen in there. You know, most of them in there. I think almost all of the ones that are in there now are hens. Um, but a fairly young one. Mine must have been one of the last ones that we bred. Just starting to break a cap, so just starting to go into its first um, adult um, plumage. Um, actually looks quite nice, stands really straight, um, got a nice width on the shoulder, nice long mask, perhaps lacking a little bit across the head, but it's got a, so a henny type head at the top. Um, might be quite useful, I just, you know, you can see some pictures of her here. Uh, I'm, I have to wait and see how she carries on to develop, but um, definitely one that caught my eye in the um, nappy flight, so one to keep an eye on maybe for beginning of next year, we'll get her in a breeding cage, Cutswood, um, if she continues to develop the way she is. But, as I say, the end of another um, episode, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit the like button. Of course, do comment on um, anything you've seen in the video or anything you'd like to see in um, future episodes. Uh, um, but most importantly, of course, do stay safe. Enjoy your birds.